And so the many-to-many -many is a situation where you have sort of somewhere between one infinity and somewhere between one infinity on both sides. Now, what we need to do to model this is we can't really model many-to-many -many in a relational database. So what we do is we break it into two one-to-many's and we have a junction table. Um, you could call this the author book table. Later I'll call this the authored table. Like, you know, who are the authors of? You could call it authors of. And it's a table that's a very short table and it really just says this author authored this book, this author authored this book, this author authored this book. And then within that you can say for, for this book who are all the authors or for this author who, what are all the books, right? So we call it a connection table, we call it a join table, we call it a junction table, and in Django terminology we'll call this a through table. But its purpose is to have two outbound one-to-many relationships instead, and that basically is just our way of capturing a one-to-many. And that's why I said one-to-many plus one-to-many equals many-to-many. Two-to-many would be sound good, but many-to-many. -many. So here we are, and here are our two uh, many-to-many relationships in our local library application. So a book can have many authors and an author can have many books and that's what we're characterizing with this little one dot dot star, one dot dot star. And the same is true like a genre can have uh, many, be associated with many books. And interestingly the zero dot dot star that's special where the book connects to genre and it's zero dot dot star coming out of the book that means it's a minimum of zero. And all that's really capturing is that a book can have no genres, but a book must have at least one author. And whether that's true or not, that's what this data model is saying. This data model is saying all books have at least one author, but they have zero or more genres, but they have one or more authors. And that's the, the subtle difference between zero dot dot star and one dot dot star. And that's the kind of clever little application features that these applications can and these data models can capture beautifully and we'll see in a second how that turns into a Django model that is a then a business rule for the data. And so this is how it works. We're going to create two tables, the book table and the author table and every table is going to every row is going to have an ID, auto increment, primary key column, and then we're going to have these outbound foreign keys from authored Again, the author table is the start of the arrow, so it's the one that has the foreign key column in it, and the destination of the arrow is a primary key in that other table. Now, what we're going to do is, and we'll see how this works, is that Django allows us to create these kind of virtual attributes, and we'll name them cleverly. The name of them doesn't matter, but we'll basically say, inside of author, we're going to have an attribute of books, which is automatically going to be populated by all the books the author wrote and in book there'll be this little virtual thing it's actually computed it's not stored it's actually computed based on reading the authored table it'll be authors which is a list of all the authors and so this is a convenient way because in Django they kinda wanna hide this middle table it exists and as a matter of fact you can write oh drop my pen drop my pen pick the pen back up Make sure the audio is still working. Is the audio still working? Yeah, it is. Audio is still working. Life's good. Sorry about that slight interruption. So Django tends to want to hide this, this uh, through table, and you can actually define models where you don't even give that a name, and it makes one up. It still exists. It exists exactly like it's shown here, but I would rather, in my data model, show you this table so you have a better understanding. But if you see other data models where they don't explicitly mention this and just have a many-to-many -many, and it actually makes this table up for you. So it, don't, don't get all freaked out if you see a model that doesn't have the through table explicitly modeled. I like to do it. So here we go. So here we have some models. So we have <clears throat> the book field. The title is just a bit of the book. Then authors is a many-to-many -many field going toward the author table, that's the far one, but the through table is authored. So the intermediate table, the junction table, the through table is the authored table. The author is on the other side, it has, the author has a name, and it has books, which is, this books is this kind of virtual set in there that's a many-to-many -many field derived, 
pointing at the book table with a through table of authored. So the junction table, we mentioned the junction table the same in both of these, right? So this is going, you know, from one to the other, and this is kind of going back. And these are like virtual, it's not data that's stored in the row of each row of the book table. It is data which is derived for you if you ask for it. When you retrieve a book, you can say, what are the authors of this book? It's a convenience in a way. And it also is telling Django about the foreign keys and where to store the foreign keys and the fact that it's a many-to-many -many field. That's all, all setting up this stuff so that Django, when you start putting stuff in these tables, Django automatically puts the right stuff into those tables. And, and like I said, here's the through table I called authored. I thought that was kind of clever. And the, the through table is modeled as foreign key this way, foreign key that way. And so that's not a many to many. It's a foreign key, but I've named these and I match these things up. Now the on delete cascade is the same as the other one. These, these are now just, these are two one to many's, right? The through table has a one to many going this way and a one to many going that way. And on delete cascade and so just the whole idea of a book author combination is if, if the authors are deleted, if you delete an author, you want to delete all the entries in the authored table that correspond to that author. If we do delete a book, you want to delete automatically all the entries in that. And so that's what on delete cascade means in the authored table. And that's clean this table up if things are deleted but from the outside two tables. So that automatic cleanup is done for us, which is quite nice. And we just request that with this on delete statement. So, I don't know. That's a beautiful thing. That is a beautiful thing. It's so pure and so simple. And I don't like it when you don't put the authored table in there because you can sort of do this and then it'll make the authored tabled up, but then there's certain things that don't work as well and I don't like that. Okay. <clears throat> So let's just say we created this models.py file. Of course, in uh, DJ4E samples, if you checked it out and you ran make migrations, it run makes them all. But let's just say this is the first time you'd run make migrations, and then you'd see that it's creating the migrations, and then you'd do the migrate, which of course, as we talked about in the previous lecture, that is what takes from the migrations and then updates the database. And so it, so and and both the mig make migrations and the migrate are checking to see which ones have already been done. So make migrations is looking for changes or deltas in the models.py file and the migrate is looking for deltas in the migrations. And again, remember that this the list of the things that both of these is looking at is based on the settings.py file and it's the installed apps variable in the settings.py file. So I put this note in because Students are always saying, my make migrations didn't do anything. Well, there's one of two reasons. It either is not in the settings.py file or it's already done. So I don't know which of those it is, but those are the two things to look for. If you think you're running a make migrations and it's not running, it either already ran, which is fine. That's totally fine. Or you forgot to add it to settings.py. So, okay. So here's just a few things that we can do in the shell, right? Again, Python 3 manage py shell. You got to run this from the folder that has manage.py in it, which is the project folder. Projects have many applications. And so because the manage.py shell starts up and preloads, again, the, the manage.py shell reads all of the apps that are in settings.py, loads their models, and a few other things from those preloads them. And so that's why book many.models exists at the very first line here because Django in a sense has woke up and preloaded all of the classes and things that are there so you're it's in a Django application not just in a Python shell so we import book many as the name of the application and the the models are book author and authored so some of this hopefully is starting to look familiar to you we create an object of type book book model the title's networking, and then we save it. Remember, save is a thing that transmits the in-memory object into the database and populates that ID field. And, and when you start linking these together, the populating the ID field is very important. We do a Raspberry Pi book and we save that. And, and, and now we're gonna make an author for Kristen and save that, an author for me, and we save that. And so at this point, we have, 
we have made two authors and we made two books, but now we have to connect them together. Okay, and so what we're going to basically say is we're going to create an authored record, a record in author, with a book of B connecting book B1 with author A2 and save it. Then book B2 connected with author A1 and save that. Book B2 connected with author A1 and save that. So that's throwing three records into the author table, making those connections, setting the foreign keys. So, so like it's just reading the ID field from these A1, A2, and B1, B2, are, and that's like inserting records into the author table in the book underscore ID and the author underscore ID, right? Now, remember that in book we have this virtual set called authors, and in author we have this virtual set called books. Again, that's not actually stored in the book table or the books table. It is generated by reading through the appropriate things in the author table. That's how it's generated. So, if we, if we say for book one dot authors, this is like that little virtual thing, and it reads all of the corresponding authors from the author table, and then values just says actually go retrieve them. And so now we see that the authors for book one is a list of just one author named Severance. Book two authors values is a list with Kristen and me. And then author one, who's that? Author one is Kristen. What books did she write? Well, she wrote the Raspberry Pi book. We co-wrote that book. And then author two, what books did he write? Well, he wrote the networking book by himself, and he's a co-author with Kristen on this other book. And well, there's all kind of other things that you can do, but you kind of get this idea that, you know, you, can, you, you don't have to do too much with the authored uh, table, but, uh, and then once you've got things all set up, you can sort of like walk the authored table without actually knowing it, because we preset these things when we made the, when we made the data model um, and said what the through table was. And so the through table is sort of a magic thing that's useful, but we don't really explicitly deal with it uh, too much. Now, up next, I'm going to show you a different example of many-to-many -many just to sort of uh, bring this home a bit.